morning! Frosty today. Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm. It's pretty cold this morning, um, but we're going to get out there and we're going to feed the cow. I can make a cast iron guarantee this morning that that machine will not start. If it does, I'll eat my hat. Of course it's not. Right, so what we'll do is, look at all that molasses on there. Somebody's dripped it all over the mud guard. Um, we'll get this 7530 pulled out and then I'll uh, I'll charge the battery on that machine with the 6.9. Uh, Andy's off through the cold with a straw. So I'm just backing the mill out, turning it round and then we're going to use the 6.9 to charge the battery on the nine meter. Hopefully that'll work. That's feed now on the TM. These guys are all happy eating their meal. How are you doing guys? Yeah. So while I've got that um, charging up with the 6930, I thought I'd come and say hello to Randy. Morning Randy. Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Freezing, isn't it? Really cold. Yeah, I've got my gloves. Seal skin, seal skin gloves. Joe Seals recommends seal skin. <laughs> so Andy's just finishing off in this pen. As you can see, the, uh, the one third is looking a little bit cleaner than it did yesterday. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a blast off. We have got something a bit special going to be happening to this over the next couple of days. So you'll have to wait and see whether that happens later in today's video or whether it happens tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, something's going to be happening with this tractor. Look out for it. Morning, eh? Morning. You are, you can drag wind on your farmers. I am. Are you? What are you, what's, what are they doing? Nice. See, this is what you could do. You could join your local young farmers, go bowling, go, bowl go stock judging, yeah, go karting. We're always a good one that I like. Tadcaster Brewery, that were a good one. Tell you that. Free beers. And he's just backing onto the bales now, picking them up. And I've cut the bands off. That sun is bright this morning. It's nice to be studying it though. So it's still not been started. So this is my uh, my other way of trying to get it to start heating up the, uh, I think it's a priming pump this is. It seemed to work last time after I'd done this. So fingers crossed. Can't get started. Uh, Andy's pulling in shed with half a bale in. We know what that means, don't we, guys? The sheer bot. Oh, look at him. This is smiling. The sheer bot king has attacked. So, Andy's done it again. Are you putting it back in? Oh, you're quick at this, Andy. It's, your, it's, like, your, it's like your profession. <laughs> He did pull me up in a TikTok saying, I did this the other day. Yes. I did, but um, you know, we'll forget about that because Andy's done it today, in the present. That was in the past, Andy. That happens every two weeks. Two weeks, is it? Yeah, you can almost put money on it when it's gonna happen. Yeah? Yeah, place your bets, when's next? When's Andy gonna be busting your box again, eh? Let us know. Oh, that reminds me, while we're at it, I think it was THC Enterprises LLC who came closest to the weight of the trailer yesterday. It was 8.860 um, kilograms and he guessed at 8.6. So very close. I thought it would have been a bigger load than that, but it wasn't. Yeah, it's really not wanting to start. I'm holding heat gun. M's trying to start. It's not happening. Uh, yeah, great. I'm just getting a few more bales now. It's coffee time. Mug's still available. We're just in here getting a few cattle out now. 
There you guys. Oh, we got Andy and M clipping these cattle. In here. Getting the muck off them. There's some that's to do. And here's some that's done. So off the back legs and from under the brisket. They're the most important parts. It's all for meat hygiene, so um, they make the incisions uh, along the brisket and along the back legs. And if it went through some muck and then onto the meat, uh, supposedly that can cause a meat hygiene problem. But, but, every other country that I know of do not do this. Um, so, whether they, I don't think they clip them after because the reason that they say they can't clip them after death is because the hair can go into the meat and so then you've got contamination on that um, and the, the, the area where the slaughterhouse has to be really clean for meat hygiene so they don't want hair floating about all over the place um, but yeah it's a bit of pain we do not like doing it it's the worst part of this job nobody likes clipping cattle yeah it's not dangerous because we've got the crush for it, but you're just always on a little bit on edge. And I, I, yeah, I wish we didn't have to do it, but we do. You seen Farmer Will in uh, what you call it? Yes. Love Island. It's in the it's in the somebody, somebody sent me a thing. Supposedly said something like, um, <laughs> talking to this last, we've got tattoos, and said, "Have you got any tattoos?" No, no, I've not got any tattoos. I've got, I've got a clean sheet. Yeah. And he's like, "You're a clean sheet." <laughs> it's got sheep on brain. <laughs> I can't say although I said giraffe when I were on TV, so <laughs> gets us all. M's in next Love Island. Love Island 2024. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know what James would have to say about that bike, but <laughs> I like to go in it myself, but I don't think Becky would approve. Um I think I'm getting a bit old now, so I turn, that's why I turned them down, Em, you know what I mean? Right. Also, I don't like it hot. I like to be freezing here in South Yorkshire instead. It is freezing as well. And this? Said Em to go on the Apprentice. Apprentice Em. She's already got the name, haven't you? Yeah. Hey? Hi, I'm Apprentice Em. So, we've just had our dinner now and... Um, we're going to be back on getting cattle out and clipping them. We've also got some mixes to do. That's all out. <sighs> Crossing my fingers, hoping that the warmth that's coming out in the day will help start the JCB. Because um, I've rung TC Harrison's and they can't get here until um, until the morning. So, um, yeah, we should be all right. We've got a few bales there. But after that, we really need the nine meters to be able to fetch the straw down. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. Um, we could get some out of the shed, I think. So, I suppose it's not end at world, but like, really, we need to get enough outside stack. Right, anyway, enough of my waffle. Let's go and clip some cattle. Look at this guy here. You were having a deep sleep, mate, weren't you? Hey? You lazy bum. You alright, mister? Oh, this is how I'll get up, I'll get up. Nice stretch, that's what we like to see. Oh, doing a good job at keeping these clean. All done? All done. I'll shut Andy's side, which we have to do with the control panel, which is here. And let him out. What's that nice and steady? He's a big boy though, 780 kilos, is that word? And then he shuts that back door in it. I squeeze them and then they don't kick out hurt themselves or hurt us and then looks fairly clean actually this one doesn't it um, odd few bits on it and that's it but i've just had confirmation we have a new tractor come in before hopefully before five o'clock yeah. i don't know if we'll get some good shots of it in the yeah it's like. bad timing really but anyway get ready get ready so uh, em's just doing a little bit of artwork here this guy can't go, but he weighs 700. So when we know he can, and, and Andy is saving a number seven in his side, then we know he's going to be big and we'll need to get him out. 
Yeah. Is that a seven or is that just a corner? It's a seven. It's alright then. I won't mess with it. Can you tell? It's hard, isn't it? On I can, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Go, because he's only been here 84 days and um, he needs to have been here 90 or 89 to do this thing. Specific. So next week you'll be good to go. Let's have a look at Andy's seven. The sun's bad, isn't it? Yeah. There, oh, that's a proper seven, that Andy. Look <laughs> into Andy's seven then. Artistic flair there, Andy. Yeah. Okay. Well, we might have a few smiley faces or something next time, eh? We have a mixer mention today and it is to Joe Salt. Massive happy birthday. Absolute legend because his name's Joe M. Gotta be, gotta be. Um, thanks for donating to Air Ambulance, saving people's lives. Absolute business. Right, M, you can fill that up with diesel now. <laughs> so Andy's just trying JCB again. We're not getting anywhere. I said TC Harrison's are coming tomorrow. We'll do with it today though. So M's just putting a bit of fuel in the 7530. Uh, we're just down to one telehandler as Andy trains to get that running. Um, so this TM's going to be busy. Right now we're shifting bales with the TM. Doesn't usually do this, but it's having to do twice the work today. Well, that's it now. I've took the last three bales from the stack that we can get down from the top. Uh, we need the nine meter back. We got a few bales in the yard. I suppose we could get some out of the shed because I think this will reach inside the shed for some of the bales, but it's not ideal. Andy has just been literally bouncing up and down. We've got it working. Well, that is good. That is a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So right, I'm gonna drop this off and then Andy can get round and get some of the top bales down. Um, so we don't have this issue tomorrow when it doesn't start tomorrow. So we've got one up and running, another one decides to leak itself. Uh, it's just uh, that just needs tightening up, so it shouldn't be able to move like that. That's where oil's coming out, so we'll uh, I'll drop this off and then go and tighten it up. One's fixed, and it another breaks down. You see, it. see it dripping there. So we've got the mixer on. Um, Andy's gonna get doing another mix. We've already done one. These guys have been sweeping up in the shed and I'm gonna start feeding around the cattle now. Well, it's getting a bit dark now. We're gonna be hard to see this tractor when it comes. So it's dark, but I bet people weren't expecting this, a blue one. <laughs> Was anyone expecting that? Hey? Eh? There we go. What a beast. To admit though, it's not ours. No, it's Stevens. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. You can have a shot. You can have? You can have a shot. A shot? Yeah. Oh, we're going in? Yeah. Oh, business. I haven't even driven it yet. <laughs> The dealer drove it on the trailer for me, I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> so what are you going to use that for then, Stephen? What's, what's your primary? Um, it'll be more or less ground care work. Um, Lots of a digger, um, rear mower, uh, oh, rotator, lots of things. It's yeah. handy size that you can just stick it on back of van yeah. and tow it around. Yeah, it is, it's great. And you know, the little loader's brilliant. The phone one work it. I don't know this Oh yeah, it's got like a... Yeah. Got a grab I can JCB well. grabbing bucket. Got a grab. But this one's got a carbon on it. Is it four wheel drive then? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Got the Galaxy tyres on it, which are like a, a hybrid. Yeah, so you don't it's wear them hybrid, down as much. The hybrid tyres give you enough tread to do ground work, but they're kind enough. They're kind enough on On, on ground, yeah. So um, I've had good success with the last tractors the last two years with it, so I didn't have any problems with it. Pick up pitch on it and everything, arms, link arms. Oh, 
Nice. An ideal of speed. Stephen's travelled all the way from Scotland um, right down into Hertfordshire, I think it is, to pick that tractor up. And he's going to be stopping around um, our area tonight, going to come to the pub with us. Um, he's going to do the mix mentions tomorrow. And he's also the guy that's going to be doing something to to 6 30 tomorrow. You'll have to stay tuned to see what that is in tomorrow's video. Um, or maybe we'll announce it if we do a live tonight from the pub. Uh, who knows? But right, I've got to speed round and get these cattle fed um, before we can get off to the pub, which I've not told you about, actually. Yeah, we're all going to the pub tonight. Business. So Andy's just tipping the mix off, or is it M? Might be M. Hey, Stephen, can anybody guess what maybe might be happening tomorrow? With the 130. Do you think people will guess them? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Look at that. Maybe. Look at that. <laughs> but I'm not coming down here. Yet. It could have it could have been. It could have been planting a garden on the roof because it was really mucky, weren't it, Em? Got a lot of grass to cut. Oh, oh, the roof was shut. Yeah. Yeah, Em's cleaned it. It's all ready. All the barley. All the barley's off. There's no nothing growing on there. <laughs> it, won't, it won't grow it. Like Nearly. Yeah. Andy's getting the job backed in here. Business. We're putting the tractor away as well. The little beast, mini beast. You can tell Stephen used to be a farmer because he's um, he's got reversing skills. The beast. It's Stephen's big yellow briefcase. Right, so this is about it from us. We're trying to really get things going so we can get off to the pub in time. It's not the usual pub, by the way, if anybody thinks about going to the usual one. We're going to a different one tonight. Um, so yeah, tomorrow should be exciting. One, you're doing something very exciting for us. Uh, Andy's going to be very excited about. Are you finding your pub? Is that what you're doing? No, no. Playing on your phone? Yeah. You're doing a video here, Andy. Sorry, He's sorry, playing on his sorry. phone. Hey, what's it like? Um, you <laughs> Exactly. And we're going to, to this place, Ripon Farm Services, open day. So tomorrow will be a fun packed video. You are, I'm not. No, you're going to be busy. Busy in the cold here. Very busy. <laughs> So, if you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you've not already, and um, maybe if we do a live later, check it out, and um, you might be able to find out a little bit more about what Stephen's doing, because we might have had a few beers, and we might let a, let a few secrets out and relax, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Yes, yeah, Stephen knows what you see. He's an avid watcher of the channel and knows the wave. Bye. <laughs>